The Ontario Visual Arts curriculum requires that students learn simple color theory starting in the primary grades and continuing through the elementary levels. In grade 1, students learn about the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. They also learn to identify light and dark colors. In grade 2, students learn about secondary colors, green, orange, and purple, and are introduced to the idea of mixing color. In grade 3, students learn about warm and cool colors and the feelings that these groups of colors can create. In grade 4, students learn about monochromatic color schemes. In grade 5, students learn to identify complementary or opposite colors. In grade 6, students learn to identify color relationships in color wheels, including tertiary colors. Color theory is explored and practiced throughout the elementary grades. Therefore, it is certainly important to review simple color theory in order to gain a clear understanding. Here is a popular color exercise. Students create color wheels on paper with tempera paint. First, they paint the three primary colors. Then they mix secondary colors and add them to their color wheels. Students and teachers often wonder why the secondary colors do not look nice and bright. Even when brushes and equipment have been properly cleaned, the secondary colors often look brownish or dirty. Why is that? It is because the primary colors that we start with are not truly pure primary colors. Indeed, often red, yellow, and blue tempera paint are packaged and sold as primary colors, when in fact, they are not truly pure primary colors. This will lead to brownish or dirty looking secondary colors. If pure primary colors of tempera paint cannot be easily obtained for student use, perhaps provide pre-mixed secondary colors. These are the primary colors used by printers and artists. If you have a color printer with your computer, take a look at the color ink cartridge. You will find that the color ink cartridge contains the primary colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Also, carefully open up a full color package all the way. Often, printers print color notes on the inside flaps. Look to see if you can find cyan, magenta, and yellow. Also, you may find extra colors within the printer's color notes. These may be for logos or other graphics. When true primary colors are used to create a color wheel, we are able to mix clean, bright, secondary colors like these. There are three color scales. The color wheel is also called the hue scale. It has all the primary and secondary colors in their brightest, purest forms. The hue scale also shows tertiary colors that lie in between the primaries and the secondaries. Another color scale is called the value scale. This scale shows light and dark colors. By adding white to any color from the hue scale, we get light colors. We call light colors tints. By adding black to any color from the hue scale, we get dark colors. We call dark colors shades. Therefore, the value scale describes light and dark colors. The third color scale is called the chroma scale. We use the chroma scale to describe how pure or dull colors are. This is often referred to as color intensity. When we gradually mix together two opposite or complementary colors, we get a range of colors that vary in purity. 
When complementary colors are mixed about half and half, the resulting dull colors are different browns. These brown colors, together with their tints and shades, are often called neutral colors. The three color scales can be used together to describe any color. Together these color scales are the basis of the Munsell color system. Warm colors are found together on one side of the color wheel. They are red, orange, and yellow. Cool colors are found together on the opposite side of the color wheel. They are purple, blue, and green. Color schemes are often used by artists to organize colors. Monochromatic color schemes are commonly used by artists and designers. Mono means one and chroma means color. So for this color scheme, we use one color only from the hue scale plus its tints and shades. A complementary color scheme includes two complementary or opposite colors plus the tints and shades of both. An analogous color scheme includes colors that are adjacent to each other on the hue scale, plus the tints and shades of each. A split complementary color scheme includes an analogous color scheme plus the complementary color with its tints and shades. A double split complementary color scheme includes an analogous color scheme plus the complementary color plus colors that are adjacent to the complementary color on the hue scale along with the tints and shades of all of these colors. A triad color scheme includes three colors that are equally spaced on the hue scale plus the tints and shades of each. As a matter of interest, let's take a more scientific look at color. Light that comes from the sun has different wavelengths that we see as color. We see this color in two ways. When light hits an object, it reflects off the object and into our eyes where we recognize color. Some of the light is absorbed by the object. Therefore, the remaining portion that is reflected is the color that we recognize. We call this reflected color. Indeed, the color scales and color schemes just described all refer to reflected color. Also, when we use pigments such as ink or paint, we are seeing reflected color. Sometimes we see color that has not been reflected before it enters our eyes. Different colors of light can be mixed in a similar way as when we mix paint to get different colors. Television is a good example of this. Color that enters our eyes directly without first reflecting off any object is called absorbed color. When considering reflected color, the three primaries, cyan, magenta, and yellow, can be combined to create secondary colors. With reflected color, all the primary colors can be combined to create black. When considering absorbed color, the three primaries are blue, red, and green. These colors can be combined to create cyan, magenta, and yellow. Therefore, reflected and absorbed color are opposite in nature. Note the complementary or opposite relationship between reflected and absorbed color wheels. The Ontario Visual Arts curriculum deals only with reflected color at the elementary school level. A clear understanding of color will enhance students' experiences in visual arts.